Uh, if you haven't seen my first video on EKFs, I definitely recommend you, you check that. Uh, check that first. Um, in that video, I talked about how to, uh, what are the things you need to do before you start um, working with the EKS. Uh, you need to set up a, a CLI tools uh, like uh, AWS CLI, EKS CLI, uh, kubectl or kubectl, uh, those kind of things. So even though uh, that was primarily for Windows users, we also talked about, I also talked about uh, uh, some details on setting up on Linux and uh, Mac, etc. Uh, but in all honesty, though, if uh, you are actually on Windows, the best thing to do for you is actually having a, a WSL on your Windows, Windows uh, subsystem for Linux. It makes things uh, much, much easier for you. So I highly recommend you go this route, uh, setting it up. Uh, in fact, I set it up mine. Uh, yesterday, and now uh, I installed Ubuntu on it. Um, so that's the first thing. So to go with the EKS, uh, you can go to Amazon uh, uh, EKS, and uh, you can uh, read through stuff, uh, how it works, and things like that. Uh, uh, in here, you can see actually you can create a cluster from here, but it's not a smooth process yet. For that reason, we'll be doing a little bit differently. Uh, uh, from uh, creating a, a cluster from a command line. Uh, so let's uh, get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is, in order for us to uh, create a cluster or work with EKS, we need uh, to, we need to create a user uh, you know, with the proper set of uh, permissions. Uh, 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 so you no, know, so the, as a user, you can run the different things. Uh, I'll also talk about other options like you creating a group and a role, etc. So first, for the purpose of this uh, uh, video, I'm going to keep things simple. Uh, so I'm going to go to IAM uh, and then click on the users. I already created one user called EKS test user, but you can uh, click on add uh, user here. Uh, type in uh, EKS test. Uh, user or whatever user you want and this user requires a programmatic access uh, and then click next uh, and then uh, you select this one which has administrator access so this user can create clusters, EC2s and etc. But this is only for the purpose of this tutorial but in real life you don't want to do this. In, in real life you actually want to give this user a very minimum set of permissions uh, that uh, that are required to run the cluster. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add a link to actually require permissions for this user. It's from uh, EKS CTL website. It's called Minimum IAM Policies. You can go through these policies and uh, you can uh, create a user or a group or whatever and attach those things to the, uh, to the user or group. Uh, there is other option also you can do is uh, uh, you can also go create a role uh, right here. You can uh, create a role, click on create a role, uh, click on EKS. So there, and then you select EKS, and then you know next and next and stuff. But as I said, for this video, we're going to keep it very simple. We're just going to create a, a user I just showed you. Uh, give the user like uh, administrator access. Uh, uh, for just for this tutorial, but if it's a real system, a production system, uh, you don't want to do this, okay? All right, so now we have the user. Uh, you're already aware aware of a minimum set of uh, policies and permissions and stuff, etc. cetera. Uh, one thing that you want to do is when you create this user, you want to get, in order for you to log into AWS, go here uh, and go to security credentials and uh, if you if you create it for the first time, you should uh, have it uh, uh, access ID and, uh, and uh, secret access ID, secret key. It gives you like a download to CSV. You download that. Once you download it, it will have that information, uh, for the, the, the access ID and the secret access ID. Uh, if you already have a user and uh, you misplaced uh, your, your access ID and uh, 
secret key information, you can create access key or again it will give you it will give you new access key and secret key which you can use. So once you have uh, the user setup done, uh, next thing is uh, hopefully you have all the CLI tools set up as I explained in the, my previous video. I'm going to link it in the description if you haven't. Uh, so then you go to your, uh, your terminal, you type in the AWS uh, configure. Uh, well, AWS configure and then you put the access key that you just got from here, which is in my case, this is the access key. Uh, and then it will ask you for the secret access key and then you put the secret access key, um, which you download from here from CSV. I already have the secret access key, which I do not want to share, neither do you. Um, so uh, I'll be logged in as a AWS into AWS. Uh, and then it will ask you for the region. Uh, uh, I want to create a US East 2 region. So I've already configured all this stuff here. If you haven't, you have to do the uh, same thing. So at this point, uh, you're already set. Uh, you're already logged into AWS console. Uh, the only thing left for you to do is uh, create a cluster. So I'm going to link this documentation here uh, on available commands for uh, EKS, uh, create cluster, delete cluster, uh, describe node group and get the cluster information, list number of clusters. Uh, all, of, all these commands are here. I'm going to link that as well in the description for you uh, below. So now I have, a, now I'm logged in. I clicked in, I typed in AWS configure, put in my, uh, login information. I'm already in AWS now, uh, connected to AWS. I can create a cluster now. So as you saw before here, uh, let's go to uh, EKS here. I have no clusters. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a cluster from here. Um, I have to run EKS create cluster. It's going to create a cluster with the three nodes. Um, so what this does is it uh, creates uh, multiple things, right? It's going to create uh, VPC. It's going to create subnets. Um, it's going to create EC2. EC2 uh, as, uh, and, uh, uh, and the unrelated uses uh, cloud formation, so you can actually go into your console and you can check uh, what, are, what are the things that are being created here. Uh, this is roughly going to take 15 minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and when uh, we come back, I'll walk you through the things that are created. All right, guys, it took uh, uh, about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit more to create a uh, cluster. So as I was saying before, it creates a cluster. When it creates an uh, EKS cluster, it creates uh, many different things. Uh, we can have a look at it. Uh, if you go to your AWS, you can actually go to your EC2. You can see the the worker nodes uh, that are running. There are three because that's what we specified here. Uh, three nodes, uh, so they all have three nodes cluster. The, these were generated from before, uh, and then you can go to EKS, and you can actually see uh, the cluster that got created. Uh, and also you can look at the subnets and uh, um, VPCs, etc. Um, so it creates multiple multiple uh, artifacts. And under the hood, it uh, uses uh, cloud formation, uh, so you can uh, take a look at uh, different things that that got created, what it's doing, those kind of things. So that's pretty much it for creating a cluster. It's very straightforward. 
Uh, one thing to keep in mind though is uh, for, the, for the purpose of this video, I used uh, admin access for the user. If it's real life, uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, I'm going to attach the links that you need to go through. I'm going to attach in description links to the you know, few of the commands and uh, WSL as well. Uh, so before we forget, uh, so this has a, a, you had to pay for this, I think 10 cents an hour or so. So for that reason, it created a lot of stuff. I just want to make sure I, I don't want to leave it on because you're going to incur a lot of uh, cost for this. Uh, I'm going to delete my cluster. Uh, so it will take uh, four or five minutes. Um, so and then it's going to delete all the stuff we created. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's that's it for this video. As I said, please check the video before. Uh, if you like it, give a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.